how do we have, like Jesus did, natural, intentional conversations with others that point to the hope of Christ? Jesus never starts the conversation the same way. There's no formula, there's no trick that he's using. So what are some practical ways that we can be hospitable and be like Jesus in inviting people to come and see? I think it's a spirit of inviting people into our lives, into this journey, not just into one conversation. One of the trademarks of Jesus' conversational style is that he always starts with where people are at. There are a lot of people who believe Christianity is a religion from God, when in reality it's a relationship with God. Jesus doesn't immediately go to her sin, but he does address it. We have to keep going back to the gospel, making it a worship issue and a gospel issue, rather than a behavior and a sin pattern issue. He says to her, go and sin no more. And so to go is the grace, sin no more is the truth, right? And that truth and grace. Legalists and judgmental people like we see in the story that come to Jesus, they're more concerned about being right than they are about the other people. We live in a culture now where truth is so relative. So how do we approach conversations yeah. about Jesus with people who don't believe that there is absolute truth? We sometimes end up in situations in life where we're with someone we wouldn't have chosen to be with them and have a conversation, uh, but that's where we are. We sometimes try to argue people to an intellectual faith, which isn't faith. Mm -hmm. Faith has an intellectual component, but there's a place at which it no longer works and you have to step out and trust. So how do we have conversations with people in our lives that uh, may know something about Jesus but have doubts, aren't kind of at the place where they would declare my Lord? Doubt itself is not the enemy of faith. There is a certain element of doubt in all faith. We ought to be open and ready to just talk naturally and intentionally about our faith. Whatever the angle is, we ought to be able to say, I know you got some of those concerns and you're struggling, but can I tell you what Jesus has done for me? And share our own story. 